Look, I'm gonna level with you. This game is very dark and violent, so if that's not your thing, you might want to steer clear from this series. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was gonna find out. Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to Mike Spain. I'm not a graph when we last left off. We had just reached Roscoe Street Station. Well, where we were going to meet our buddy Alex, but everything went to hell when some tugs were there killing everyone. Now there are a couple of secrets here. There's one secret if you throw a gun right there, you can cheat or you can come back here later. I'll try and come back here later. Now I don't know if it's these guys or other ones, but one of those these goons will get in an argument and end up killing each other. Which I think is pretty funny. However, here we see goons that can backflip. And this will end very poorly. I could have sworn he died. You gotta remember. Listen for the screams. When they scream, it means they died. I always forget. And now... We get the sewers. Or at least what looks like sewers. I really don't want to use the shotgun. I don't find it reliable at all. At least on that arrival, it's... Freaking useful, especially when you... Do this. Because you just sit on the floor waiting to get shot for a couple of seconds while you pump the shotgun. Pump the shotgun! That's not a song. It should be. Well, we can only hold eight painkillers, so I'm gonna use one. Just to guarantee that I don't die. It's always important. I don't believe there's anything at the end here, though. Yeah, there's... Not anything there. However, we can continue forth. And what was that? It's an earthquake. Rats! Rats, an earthquake. This doesn't bode well. Are the rats behind us? Here, just listen. There. And that didn't help at all. That didn't. Max Payne has a tendency to jump at the worst. Freaking. Times. There. It, it, he even has a tendency when I'm trying to. Just, you know, enter bullet time before I get into a firefight. It has a tendency to jump and get into trouble. At least I gotta remember, I can I can save. I always I'm gonna keep forgetting because I'm so careful how of where I save. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. In my previous game. But I barely saved at all. Okay, fellas. The police are on their way. New York's finest. They're gonna be here soon. So stick to the plan. Got our own private exit route. In and out, do your thing. Bam, bam, thank you, man. See what I mean? I wanted to enter bullet time. Like this. And it's gonna run out before I do anything. It's gonna run out when I die. But we already. That's not acceptable. I'm gonna take some cover back here. Okay, fine. Just get here again. Come on. I know you want to. Bullet time is so good for this. To get these guys unaware. So good to get these guys when they're in a cramped room and there's a couple, especially if there's. A couple of guys with shotguns. So good to get 
them unaware because they'll come out of cover and you'll be able to fry them there is a secret here if you break all the lights but I think it's all the alarm lights another door okay so I'm getting horribly shot here there we go one dead and this guy's gonna come here and he's gonna die too see how easy that is now there is a small it's not really an easter egg it's just a small secret here shoot that thank you and max will thank you for stopping that awful sound there's at least one other instance i know where he'll thank you for stopping a sound we gotta pick up the phone we come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. I bet. Anyway, you can see that Max is the tough guy who cries jokes at everything. The bank so, score lay on the table. It's not just, you know, rooting. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. So, is there any more lights here? I don't think so. I don't think the... I think it's just these... The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Did it open? I don't think you have to destroy all the lights, just... Well, I guess I have to. They left the detonator here. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send I Lady Liberty into orbit. Sworn. I don't think you have to shoot every single light. It seems a little wasteful, but... A few moments later... Well, I guess I was wrong. But, uh, uh, but anyway, I cut everything out just to make sure it's not boring for you guys I'm, I'm pretty sure I got all of the lights so I was wrong I, I read it on the internet that if you kill all of the lights that you can get okay I'm back sorry about that anyway you can get a secret but I guess I was I was wrong however here if we kill everyone here especially this guy with a grenade we can get the grenade that I wanted Yes, this is what I wanted. Now you don't have to cheat. Although I will save before I throw the grenade in the hole. I'm going back to the start to see the guys there. That later. Okay, guys, now that we're back at the start, if you throw a grenade in there. And we press our objectives, we can see that we had the clear war against the rats. Now, at the step, I'll see you guys back at the stairs after the flooded subway. Now, right after these stairs, you can see some rats. They're just chilling around, being rats. However, if you give a little time, they start shooting at you with Desert Eagles, which is hilarious. This is probably one of the cl the classics of Easter Eggs, to be entirely honest. They're also really hard to hit. And they even get kill cams, which is frankly hilarious. And I'm gonna switch out to a shotgun so I can hit them better. Stand around like a doofus so I can get hit better. And just one rat left. Two rats left. Okay, this rat is giving me some trouble. Not that I'm actually making an effort to hit him. Okay, now he's dead. Let's go back to the detonator door. Okay, guys, I decided to quick load because I wasted too much painkillers and I got too much hurt, wasted too much ammo. So let's put the detonator in and get back. You almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, I'm right glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight through the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Alex, look this behind you. 
This is Lapino's doing? Lapino's men? Really? You sure know how to make a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out Don't of here. Shoot him. It's Lapino. Alex No. To be fair, his name is Alex Bowder. What a name like that. It's kind of, you know, lamp shady, don't you think? There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Damn, son. However, be prepared for a fight right away. There. Which, right away will come those three guys only, so... Here, I guess I could use four of those. There we go. That's a good strategy. And your health goes so faster on normal mode. Goes down so faster. Well, I guess I could do this. Hi! Bye! Okay, the shotgun might be a lot more useful on this mode than the other one. Really, on that on arrival, the shotgun is completely freaking useless. And we have more health here. Not that I need it. Or want it. I guess the guys were leaving, so if I let them leave... I wouldn't get in a firefight. But really, this isn't that hard. It's not hard at all. We gotta... That's a gate control. And we leave. The ghost streets of New York. Or New Jersey. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. And I'll do that on the next part. See you guys then on the flip side. Bye bye. <laughs>